Let's see this question. This question was given a compositional functions. Compositional functions given us f composed with itself. We get x squared minus 3x plus 4. And we want to find out f of 1. So how do we do that? So let's evaluate when x equals 1 for the composition function. So we get f compose with itself at 1. We just plug in 1 for x. We get a 1 squared minus 3 times 1 plus 4. Well, 1 plus 4, 5. 5 minus 3, 2. So we get 2. Now, let's think to do this. What if we take f on both sides? Okay. So we just, then we get f of 2. We get this relation. So f composed with itself, then compose again, evaluate at 1, we get f of 2. So we get this relation. Now, what if we, let's try this, f of, f of, Two, f of two. Let, let's treat it. Let's take f. Let's take f of two as x. Okay. So this is our x. We have f composed with f. Then take f of two because we want to find out what f of two is. So that's the only way to find out to use these compositional functions. So let's take f of 2 as an input from the composition of f. So in this case, we get f of 2 squared, because f of 2 is our x now, so this means x equals to f of 2 for now, minus 3 times f of 2, then plus 4. Right? So we get this, f of f of composed with f composed with itself takes f of 2 as input. So we get f, f of 2 squared minus 3 times f of 2, then plus 4. So what is that? And uh, let's evaluate f composed with f at 2. Okay. So f composed with f add 2. So what do we get? We get 2 squared minus 3 times 2 plus 4. On which we get 2 squared is 4. 4 plus 4, 8. 8 minus 6. We also get 2. Okay, I think that's the key. Okay, you see what equal to 2? Equal to 2, that's the key. So f composed with f evaluate add 2. That means x equal to 2. So now we see here, this one can be written as f of 2, right? Because f composed, f composed with f, so this part, this part by this is 2. So we substitute this, we get f of 2 equals to this, f squared of 2 minus 3f of 2. Plus four. We'll move this f of two to the other side. So we get f square of two minus four, right? Minus positive move to the right hand side become negative. Negative three plus negative one, negative four, f of two. Then plus four. Well nothing on the left hand side that's an equal to zero. But equation we can switch on the left and right. We're getting a perfect square. So this is f of two by algebra minus 2 squared equals 0. When the square equals 0, so that means f of 2 minus 2 is 0, that means f of 2 equals 2, right? So 2 is a key number in for this question. So f of 2 equals 2. Now we can go back to the f of 1, right? So remember we have f of, from here, f of 1 equals 2. 2. Okay. 
So this give us, so this side, this side give us f of one square from this, right? From taking this. Think about this as of x. So x equals to f of one. Um, f, right? So take this one, take this one, f. Then f of two equals a two from here, right? So from the function, from the function, if we let x equals f of one, what do we get? We get f of one square minus three times f of one plus four that equals a two. So this gives us f two f of one square minus three f of one minus two on both sides. That means plus two equals zero. Okay, this can be factored by using algebra. So we get f of one minus one times f of one minus two, zero. Okay, we have two factors factor out to be zero. Each factor can be zero. The first one give us f of one equals one. Second one give us f of one equals two. Okay, problem is solved. Okay. So that means f of one can be one, f of one can be two. Yeah, questions like this, you know, go, go around and we find some key things to do. In this case, we said number two is a key, right? Okay, anyway, question problem is solved.